Welcome back to all my faithful little Hassle Lights to another edition of Hassle's Review. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. This is not your travel chief sitting here. It's still your boy Hassle. Bad a little battle of uh, tendonitis and uh, carpal tunnel. Let's put your boy down and out for a few days. But you know what? The show must go on and we got to do some reviews. So with that, the show is going to roll on. And this week, I'm going to review to you the Gridiron Studios. So I've been plugging these people for a little while now. I've done a few things with them. So this week, we're doing Firefly. So as you know, the original flyer, Firefly, when we got him, he come with this flak jacket vest type deal. This. This is what he, he had on. And it was very cumbersome. It looked nothing like the original. The only thing you had from the original was you had the grenades that, you know, Firefly had. We didn't get the open collar. We didn't get the turtleneck. And I was like, fuck. You want a Firefly, but at the same time, it was like, wow, okay. It's kind of shit to bed here. So, Gridiron Studios done a saboteur kit, as they call it. So, we're going to go with the method that if manners maketh man, accessories maketh the figure. So for anyone that's, you know, you're not a full blown customizer. You don't do all that. Cause I mean, I, I'm not as skilled at it as I would love to be either, but you want to do a little tinkering and just do something that's a little enjoyable, get some better accessories. Cause let, let's be honest. How many times have we bought an action figure? The figure looks great, but the accessories with him are terrible. I mean, I look, look not the, the Marvel legends, for instance, you get a set of hands. More, more often than not, it's all you get is a set of hands. Maybe a second head. And then, you know, you go to another action figure in, a, in the same, by the same company, and they give you 40 different accessories this day. You know, it's just whatever whim they're on, I'm supposing. But uh, either way, if, if you're, you've are you got a couple figures that you're unhappy with, go to Gridiron Studios' webpage. They have everything from lightsabers. They even have uh, Boba Fett helmets now. Which look really cool. To have these snap-on pieces like goggles and whatnot so that you can use it if you're into making Mandalorians or maybe you want to make your Cobra Forces. Maybe you want a Mandalorian Viper. I don't know. That's actually a pretty cool con uh, concept. I hadn't thought about that. So maybe that's an option there uh, for an Alley Viper, possibly. Who knows? Either way, I kind of went in for a couple of these kits, and some of them were a little pricey. The Saboteur kit, I will say, was the most expensive of the bunch. Uh, some of them are, are, are very affordable too. I mean, like um, I have a few others. Like uh, I have this gun here. That uh, bear with me, people. I'm, I'm on a technical difficulty today. So this gun right here, that's with Snake Eyes. That is not a Hasbro gun. This is one of theirs. But I just thought it really fit this figure very well. A lot better than the one that came with him. I was not happy with what came with him. So. I went with that right there. Um, a few others I've, I've done that with. Well, he doesn't want to stand up. Beachhead is another. And we all know he come with that horrible looking gun that he's got. And this is the one that, this is a Gridiron Studios. It looks so much better in his hand than, you know, what we had previously. I'm just going to stick him on the shelf here for him to fall over. So, this is another one I went in for, and this one was made for this figure, for the Cobra Bat. So, you know, he they, they come with a handful of hands. They all got the same, even these come with the same accessories in the back. And let's face it, by the time you've bought your third, third Cobra Bat, that's a little bland. You wanted something up, you wanted to upgrade. So, we got this right here. The clip comes off. This does turn. And that hurt really bad. It's good posability. It's just, and overall, it, it just makes the figure pop a lot more for me. So that's kind of why I go in for these things. So getting to the, the meat and potatoes of what we're actually here for today, the saboteur kit. So 
as I said, I was not happy with Firefly. I like the traditional flyer, Firefly. So I looked on their site and they had a Saboteur kit. And wow, it just really blew me away. It looks great. So I ordered it. And I will say their shipping is a little slow. It, it takes you, you typically 10 to 12 days. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of spoiled with Amazon maybe. Uh, but anyways, 10 to 12 days and then it's in the door though. But I mean, it's and typically sometimes they give you throw in free gifts. I've, I've been uh, given free pistols before and if you go check their page out right now they're doing a flash sale it's like a different gun each day for like 10 bucks you know it's pretty cool and i got, I got some other stuff marked down i went in for some things last night so i'll have some more coming in in the next few weeks uh there's actually uh, they do kits designed on different characters they're really cool they call it the billy which is i guess based off the indian character from predator but it is for the spirit figure and it looks really really good but Moving on to what we're really here for. This guy right here, the saboteur. So as you can see, this is his upgraded look. And man, this is pretty badass. The only thing I'm not a fan of is the olive green gun. And, and they've done that for retro sake because the, you know, the original guns were the olive green. So this is actually the upgraded pistol that they sent as a free gift. I, I put it on him. That's it, the pistol that comes with it. You got a clip right there. There's a silencer somewhere. But he has a little arc welder here on the back. And in case you're one of those that really need it when he does the arc welding, here we go. He's got his own little goggles. So you still have the goggles there. Now, I'm sorry, he's got a little cell phone, uh, 80s style cell phone, walkie talkie doohickey thing or whatever you want to call it that uh, goes in it. There's a slide in the pack in the backpack that actually has dynamite in there. And that was like really cool for me. It was just a, a super neat feature. Um, it, it gave him the open collar, as you can see. The only thing is the torso on, on the figure. When you take this big cumbersome jacket off, and this was actually really simple to do. You just take your X-Acto knife, run down the seam there, it'll, he'll slide off. You don't have to pop no heads. You don't have to pop arms off. I've seen, you know, people saying, oh, just pop the arm off and it comes right off. Don't. You don't have to. Just take it. And you can repurpose this. If you wanted to use this for another figure, that seam is fine enough. It's fine enough to where you could actually put it on there and with a little bit of a glue or something, some adhesive, He's right back in business with someone else that it may suit better. I mean, you may have, you know, somebody that, you know, you want to turn into a cover operative and there you go. But I will say, once you pull it off, he's, he's, while he's gray through his torso, you don't have the, um, I don't know, it almost like armor plating a little bit on the chest still, but you don't have the lines that, the, that you know, the sleeves have and, and that he should have the, 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 the beach head type look. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't have that. And you don't have any of the camo on there. So, you know, if you want to wait, there is a retro uh, Firefly coming very soon, actually. Um, so maybe that, that's your, your thing there. Me, I want the retro one, but he's going on the wall. I mean, as you see, I have shit all over the walls. And the retro package, to me, that's the whole reason you buy it, is the retro package. Yes, the figure is a lot more retro in line to what we want. But at the same time, I'm fine. I said, I got a, as long as I have the bubble there and a mint card, he goes on the wall. I don't have to have two. I mean, cause I, I'm happy enough with this right here. It suits my, it satiates, so to speak, my uh, sweet tooth for the loose figure. So if you don't, if you don't uh, have any of this stuff, check it out. I mean, just go check the website out. I promise you. You will not be turned away from it. You'll like what you see there. They even do lightsabers. I've seen some lightsaber kits now that they have for uh, stormtroopers. that are pretty cool because like, it comes with like a big shield and he has a lightsaber there for like, you know, the, the final days of Order 66 when, you know, people are running forth and destroying Jedi and picking up their, you know, relics, so to speak, and actually using them. So uh, Marvel done a pretty good uh, run of that. That was a stormtrooper that he had. That was his thing. He was, 
and he would use the lightsaber. He was not force sensitive at all, but he did use the lightsaber and he did, you know, fuck shit up. So he got something for everybody. There's pages and pages and pages of this shit. I mean, I can't have them up enough. I can't praise them enough. They're a really cool company. I like them. I think you'll like them as well. Like I said, this figure, it looks great. I mean, it just, it's so much better now. This, this is my Firefly. This is what the old boy's supposed to look like. And I said, you got the back. And I'll post a bit. Matter of fact, this is the drawer. The drawer actually slides out for the dynamite. You can pull the arc welder off. It's got a cable here. There's the phone. I mean, yeah, pretty fucking legit. I'll post some pictures on the video as well. I think I believe I have a video. So where he does a little spin around on the catwalk. The catwalk, yep. So, beyond that, that's all I can do for uh, Gridiron Studios today. I'm sorry. Uh, not a long video. Like I said, your boy's battling a uh, bad little pain here. But uh, I, I did want to get on here and give a shout out to you people. Um, I did finish my RoboCop 2 Kane model. As you can see, he turned out pretty jammed up and legit. And if you guys want to see a review of this, I when I'm... Back to full health, just drop me a line, let me know. Hit a comment in the section. Let me know you want a review of him. I got a shit ton of pictures of the process uh, from start to finish. I'm going to do a stop motion video at some point. That'll just be a real or a short, I'm not sure. But if you want me to review it, hey, we got him here. We'll review him. Just let me know if something you're interested in. We're uh, on our other show, the Nerdy Man Room Show. We're literally, we hit our goal when we're just... About to give away this H4 autographed Michael Myers mask. So this is a very exciting and cool time for Monster and I, who, for those of you who don't know, Monster is my co-host from the Nerdy Man Room Show. I'm sure you should know. And when he's not off ruling the world with Cobra, you know, that's why I put all this money in Cobra, uh, we, we, uh, we do this little fun little podcast called the Nerdy Man Room Show. And like I said, we finally hit our subscriber goal. Well, thank you guys for that. Um, we can't thank you and appreciate you guys enough. But uh, like, subscribe, and share for those who maybe hadn't been as fortunate enough to listen to these two assholes at some point in some time. So uh, get us out there and share us. We're on uh, Southern Joy Media, on Spotlight Media. I, I'm sorry, Spotlight Media. There we go. On Roku and Fire TV via our sponsor, The Zone Collectibles, 305 Main Street, Tifton, Georgia, where they support Unity through community, families unite. If you need anything other than Gridiron Studios, well, they could probably get you that too if you wanted it. The Clay Clan can hook you up. They got comics, they got action figures, they got anything on the sun. They do the card games, they do you know RPGs, they do all of this stuff. So if you need anything, and I mean anything, and maybe even this, the Clay Clan can hook you up. They got everything, they're good people. So go check them out, they're in Tifton, Georgia. Holler at our boy, Big Rob, a Big Rob's House of Entertainment, and no Chinese food! Feel good enough for that one. But yeah, check him out. He's always uh, a good friend of the show. He's on YouTube. He's on uh, Twitter. I do know he's on the Twitter. And I think he's about to get back on uh, Face page and uh, the Instagram. So, I myself am very active on the Instagram, Facebook, all these things. So come holler at us. Hell, drop us a line and let, let me know what you want me to review. Whether it be a horror movie, an a anime, a anything. Just let me know. And I'll give you this asshole's point of view on it. And you may or may not agree. You never know. But hey, you know what? Maybe you're an asshole just like me. Might be why you watch. So, till then, knowing is half the battle. Yo, Joe. <laughs>